minutes after 9 o'clock. It's time for Jim George, Professor Gadget. Your questions are important, and Jim's answers are important. And if you have a question about technology or just want to chat about something you read about or heard about, this is a good time to call. The number is 622-9622. And don't forget that Jim can help you out with your cable because he's with... American Cable Services. He can also help you out with your computer and other technology with media in motion. So if you got problems with your laptop, your desktop, do people still have desktops? They do. They do. Where are you? Where's your voice? Oh, here's you. Good morning, Jim. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. We had a late night last night. Oh, you did, huh? Yeah, we were. Party down. Yeah. Yeah. We went and played in Palm Beach, and then we drove back and. and you played in Palm Beach? Uh-huh. Yeah. We That's did our show yesterday. Drive. Yeah, four and a half. Four and a half for me. Yeah. We did yeah. our show I'm yesterday driving, and then yeah. left and then did our other show well, down there and Daytona came back. Daytona Beach, but you were in West Which, Palm. Daytona was Wednesday. Was Wednesday. And West Palm was yesterday yeah. evening. <laughs> 5.30 to 8.30. We played standing up. We strolled yep. through a museum. Three hours. That was a... Which museum did you show? Slave stroll? driver. The Nor- Norton Museum. Nor- 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 oh, yeah. Isn't that wonderful? I was born in West Palm, so I know. Really? I know the area you know very it? well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, they built that. They, they built the ceiling of that, of that, um, or the roof, whatever you want to call it, of the museum to accommodate a tree. Mm. They didn't remove the tree. They built around it. Yeah, it was cool. Very cool. All right. No, it's an interesting museum. I like museums. Do you mm-hmm. know what I don't understand about museums, though? Some of the artwork. I don't understand it. All the old stuff in there, yeah. Nah, not that. <laughs> like, like somebody paints a picture, like, you know, it's a crazy, like, they use their finger, oh, there's an eye, there's a nose, mm-hmm. and they hang it up like it's a yeah, great piece. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anybody could do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they say, no, it's the composition, it's the way the eye is angled. No, it's not. That's just some critic's idea of a good art. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. it is what it is. Hey, there's a high-tech Easter egg thing in <coughs> Kansas City. Have you heard about this? High-tech Easter egg. It oh. finds you? What? Let me find it. Let me <laughs> yeah. find it. <laughs> yeah, you lied. The egg finds an you. Easter, That's an cool. An Easter egg oh. hunt has gone high-tech at a suburban Kansas City park. The Kansas City Star newspaper reports that children used GPS devices to search for <coughs> goodies in Johnson County's Antioch Park. Yeehaw. <laughs> Uh, the the county programmed the GPS devices, which were lent to participants. Lent is the use of a oh yeah, yeah that's a I le- like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in the Easter egg hunt, so many people registered for the event that a second round of searching was added after the first group had spent about an hour gathering eggs. That's cool. Each child received two eggs filled with candy or toys. All right, nice. And do, fun was had by all. Do you do that? Do I do Easter egg hunting? Yeah, no, yeah. Do. you don't do that. When the, when the kids were younger, we used to hide the Easter egg baskets in the house, and yeah, we'd we give them too. clues. Oh, they had to find the whole basket. They had to find the basket. Oh. Yeah, yeah I did we, too. we would do clues like, um, if I was dirty and wearable, where would I be? And then they would have to go to the clothes hamper, and in the clothes hamper, they'd find a little another sheet that says, "But if I was clean and folded, where would I?" You know, and ah, we send them all over the ah. house, and then finally they open the oven door or the closet oh. door, and there's the best. Oh, that's a cool idea! And they loved it. We had a great time. Easter egg treasure hunt. Kids love that. Treasure. Oh, so you didn't hide yeah. the individual eggs? No, no, I never hid that. No, no. Robin, oh, I did. I hid uh, individual eggs, but then also I made. TJ and Shannon each their own Easter basket, and I hid the Easter basket too, so they had to find. Did they not know just the basket, you hid it in eggs. both cases? Did, no, did, no, it was the Easter Bunny. Did they hide? Who, who the hid it in your home? The Easter Bunny hides it. Jim? No, we, we, we hid it in our home. No, yeah, there was yeah. no, no rabbit came no, into the, the bunny, house? The bunny died. It was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no more hippity hoppity around here, Mr. Beaster Bunny. <laughs> No, no fuzzy tail guy. No. You know, when all the things we can ask God, th- that's one question I want to ask him. Why did you make rabbits poop look like cocoa puffs? Oh, there you yeah. go. Why did Good Why question. did you do? That? I mean, no other animal does this. The llama does, don't they? No, theirs look like lima beans. Oh, that's right. That's right. They <laughs> look like beans. I forgot. <laughs> that's llama how they got beans. their name, huh? <laughs> 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 llama, right. llama, 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 <laughs> llama. <laughs> Very interesting. Hey, it's a beautiful day outside, even though it's raining. I don't know if you had a chance to really get out there. The nice, cool breeze and, uh, and uh, you know, just a beautiful day out. And I had a, I had a work order this, mor- this morning. Hey, we finished our channel alignment at, at Ocala Palms. Uh, what does that Not mean? everybody is happy. Well, we moved channels around. Uh, oh, we had to make room lineup. for high-speed Internet. So we took mm-hmm. eight channels and moved them. 
And while we were at it, at it, we added about 20 other channels. So, and we're getting ready to add six more channels. So the total oh. would be uh, about 200 channels that a person at Ocala Palms can watch. Wow! Uh, before the end of next week. So, are you getting the go-ahead from the city of Ocala then? That way, people. No, can't they, they, the stuff. city of Ocala is dragging their feet. They don't know what they want. They're, they're, they're just being cautious. I can understand mm-hmm. it all, but. Their cautiousness sometimes, you know, that delay is uh, yeah. nerve-wracking, mm. you might say. But I'm all ready for them. We're going to be launching our IPTV system, regardless whether the city says yes or no. Oh, okay. All we're trying to do is be their partner so that the city can make revenue. But if the city doesn't want to make revenue, we'll just do it anyway. Mm-hmm. Simple oh, nice. as that. nice. Well, good then. Because the city of Gainesville has already invited us. Uh-huh. But everybody here is waiting for you. Everybody's waiting for you. So do your, do your customers high. have high-tech um, bill paying? Like, can they, can they pay for their bills online? They and can pay for their bills online. We can do automatic withdrawals through credit card, which we do. Um, a lot of people would just uh, like to have a bill. They like to have a hard copy of bill. They like to market pay. They like to uh, set it in a mailbox. Do you have a merchandise shop online? We like, do not have a merchant. Can your customers buy a T-shirt or something like that? No, 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 no T-shirts. <laughs> that's it says I hate hot. No, 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 money. no, we have we have great customers. I mean, that's amazing. We're sure there's one or two dissidents in anything, but the number of calls we get daily are from the the little old ladies and the, and the gentlemen that mm-hmm. love the fact that we added this channel or um, we're doing standard def. See, we have a person that's inside Ocala Palms eight hours a day. Oh, so when you call. Mm-hmm. You don't have to wait for CenturyLink to roll a truck mm-hmm. or Cox to show up the next day. Uh-huh. We're there in like an hour. Oh, isn't so, that I mean, nice? So where can you get service where if your internet's down or your phone's really? down or what? We're mm-hmm. right there. And, of course, what happens with that is they call Saturday nights. They call Sundays. They just assume we live in Ocala Palms, but we say, no, we'll have to do that Monday. Oh. Uh, but all outages are handled within hours. What is the most common problem? Uh, how to use their own television. We have people that will oh. inadvertently change to antenna instead of to cable on their, oh. on their input. And they'll say, I got some channels, but I don't got them all. Yeah. You know? Well, that used to happen to my mother, and she wasn't doing anything. What would happen is the electricity would flicker. Yep, flicker. And come, when it would come back on, yep. then everything above 13 was gone. I think, yep, it happens. And then we have to go back in and show them how to do it. Mm. Mm-hmm. And some of the TVs are hard to do. It's not, I mean, I can understand them not being able to do yeah, it. Sometimes right. I stare at the TV. I'm trying to find the menu. I'm trying to find the settings. I'm trying to find, you know, and I'm going, wow, this is difficult. Yeah. Even mm-hmm. for us, and we do it all the time. Well, the, uh, Doug's mother wanted, uh, I guess she was hard of hearing, she wanted the closed caption feature turned on. Yes. Boy, I went nuts find, looking for that. Exactly. But I, but yeah, I found, found it eventually. It. Yeah. You finally found it. How does that yeah. work? I mean, how does there's there's not somebody actually typing that stuff in, right? That's the computer. Well, it's word recognition now. That used to be someone typing it in each and every time. Wow. Really? Yeah. So and now, that's but, why if you ever hear a movie or watch a movie with closed caption, just do it yourself. You you get the off the air channels. Mm-hmm. Just put closed caption on, and you'll see they're talking away, and and see what's printed, and you'll just get a great laugh out of what's being printed. Oh. Got this, it's word recognition. Wait a minute, let me. Do, I can do that right, right wow. now. Wait a minute. There's Google. Google has a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna click the microphone, and Jim, you you say something, and I'm gonna tell you what it what it typed. Okay. All Hold right. On. Let me great. let me close the music. Just do something. A sentence. Ready. All right. And Robin, you and I be quite ready. I'm gonna put my hand up when it's when it's ready. Okay, so welcome to WOCA Radio, and have a great day. It says, okay, so what come the walk a radio <laughs> and have a great day? And, and walk a duck. It says yeah, walk, walk a duck. It, yeah. All right, well. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> we'll be right back. Like Word recognition. <laughs> Brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. We'll see clouds and breaks of sun this Friday with a couple of showers and a heavy thunderstorm around. Any thunderstorm can produce hard downpours and damaging wind gusts, the high 81 to 85. For Friday night, mostly cloudy with a shower or thunderstorm, mainly early, though 66 to 70. Saturday, mostly cloudy with a shower and thunderstorm or two, especially in the afternoon, the high 80 to 84. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. 
Got a Garden and we've got a show for you called You've Got a Garden with your host, Master Gardener Carol Ann Baldwin. Carol Ann answers your questions about your flowers, your veggies, your grass, your trees, even questions about your bugs. And she's only on WOCA, so don't miss Carol Ann Baldwin and You've Got a Garden each Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. right here on WOCA The Source. Hi, this is Brad. I want to take a moment to talk about a serious issue. In the next five years, the aviation industry is projected to have a shortage of commercial pilots. Now is the time to start training. Ocala Flying Club has started a scholarship for the youth of Marion County ages 17 to 24. The club will donate up to $4,000 towards a pilot's license. This will help get the student on their way to obtain their commercial pilot license. If this sounds like something you would be interested in, or if you know someone that would be, please contact Ocala Aviation Services, 861-7484. Robin, let's try a little plant trivia. Name this nursery. It's a not-for-profit, and it teaches growing and caring for plants to their students. Oh, that's easy. Kenny's Place. Or how about this one? It's a nursery conveniently located between Ocala and Bellevue. Again, it's Kenny's Place. Or how about this one? A nursery with a wide variety of just what you need or want at the most reasonable prices. Kenny's Place, of course. Kenny's Place at 7677 Southeast 41st Court. Give them a call at 867-1213. It's a caring place for people and plants. It's Kenny's Place. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing. Our tractor services include bush hog, disking, front end loader, box blade, and stump grinding. We also have zero turn mowers for the smaller paddocks, aisleways, fence rows, and lawn care. Fence row spraying is also available for weed control. We are licensed and insured. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing, 352-629-2440 or online at powellgene, G-E-N-E, at yahoo.com. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing. This is Jan from Palm Garden, and Wednesday, March 30th is Doctor's Day. It is with great appreciation for the tireless dedication and professionalism of all the doctors we work with to honor and celebrate them on Doctor's Day. Right, Jennifer? Right, Jan. And as the Executive Director of Palm Garden, I would be remiss if I didn't single out our own medical directors from this past year, Anish Khanna, Eladio Diegas, and Sig Clevenger. So we wish them a happy Doctor's Day on March 30th, and thank you from Palm Garden. We are the source. WOCA News, Talk, Sports, and more. All right, 18 minutes after 9 o'clock. And uh, remember, if you have a question during any of these live programs here on WOCA, most of the time you're allowed to call in. We, we invite you to call in. We want you to call in. The, the exception would be if the guest says, please, no calls. And that's yeah. usually how they ask for it. But Jim doesn't mind. You like no, calls, no. right? I like calls. We have a call. Look at this. Asking you shall receive. Good morning. You're on the air with Jim George. Yeah, I wouldn't want to let you down. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Uh, yeah, I have a question. I have a question. As far as, um, all right, recently I'm taking a new venture where I'm going to work from home for a couple of days a week, and I don't have a telephone line. But the person that I'm going to work with uh, said to me, I don't need one because the phones go through, their phones go through the Internet. All I have to do is take their phone from home and bring it and plug it in. I mean, their phone from work and bring it home and plug it in. I've never heard of anything like that. Yes, uh, you, they they have internet telephones, and there are several different models and versions. But um, a number is pub. So at work, you have a a desk phone, and you're going to take that phone home. Right. Okay. Yes. So that's an IP uh, phone, and you just plug it into your internet connection, and the same number will come up, the same extension. And it's just as if you're sitting at your desk at work. If you wanted to call extension 2, you'd hit it. If you want to call out, you call out in. And it, you can take it anywhere in the world that, that has Internet. Isn't that cool? It so is. So can I plug it in? Um, so I, 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 I have not had Internet in my house because I run my Internet off my cell phone. But now because I'm going to be doing a lot more data, I'm going to, I have to sign up. So I had, Cox is going to come out and set up uh, Internet for me. I'm yes. not a shameless plug, but it's the only one that worked out here. Right. Um, but in, um, did they, uh, so would I need a special jack for that phone, or can it, run, can it be plugged into the back of my computer? It can be plugged into the back of your computer. Your computer usually has an in and out, which is Internet in and mm-hmm. Internet out. Uh, but normally okay. what they would do is they would plug it into the phone first, and then out of the phone into your computer, um, unless they oh, give right. you a little small switch, and it's a four-port switch. In that case, uh, the Internet goes to the switch, and then one feeds your phone and one feeds your computer. Okay. Well, so when the gentleman comes out, I need to explain to him what I'm going to be doing so yes. he can set it up that way. And he'll probably plug the phone in and make sure it's got a dial tone for you and say, okay, you're ready to go. 
Okay. Well, I had not heard of that, and I, I, I didn't want to put a telephone line in if I didn't need it. Right. And uh, But I just thought, gosh, I'm going to bring this phone home. It's not going to work because I didn't have them put a line in. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> very I'm simple. Ask the computer, the computer man on WOCA. State of the art. Everything's moving forward. Isn't that great? Yeah, it I appreciate is. appreciate all your advice and your help. Oh, Thank no you. problem. Yeah, that's a good question, Very too. Very interesting. I never knew that. I never before. knew that either. Yep. If you had IP phones here, for instance, and you had internet at your house, you could mm-hmm. take it. And if someone called a special number, like the, uh, what, 73 through 8,000, 8, uh-huh. it, it would ring at your house. Wow. But you could do the same thing by doing call forwarding to your cell phone. Right, right. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people don't like to be on their cell phone. They like a real physical phone and... So, you know, it's easier down. to work with a physical phone than your cell phone. I personally oh, think yeah. so. I think the phone that I had as a kid sounded better than today's phones. Hmm. It did. The, the big handheld one, the oh, one yeah, that you yeah. could you yeah. could you know slam it on the table, it would never break. Right. Don't you think they had a better sound? Well, they had a real speaker in them. Yeah. You know, you don't have necessarily a speaker. You hear it as if there's a speaker, but it's just the smallest little diaphragm you've ever seen in your life of a thin film piece of, like, wax paper Uh vibrating. Wow. Yeah, it's a very small thing. thing. It's not a speaker as we think of it with an electromagnet behind it or even a a normal magnet behind it. No. Are Technology there, is moving on. But are there real speakers in television, or do they have those thin film? They have real speakers, now? and they have the uh, uh, the sound bar. As you've probably seen, the sound bar that goes in the bottom of the of the. Oh TV. yeah, 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 oh. yeah. Multiple speakers, oh. and then the big woofer that sits on the ground that gives you the big bass. Uh huh. Um, yeah, the the s- sound is a a business all of its own. I I don't know that much about the inner workings of all the different sound except that uh, I know about crossover networks so you can make oh. treble go this way bass go that way you know so you can have surround sound in your home that's pretty interesting yeah surround sound's interesting if and you haven't got a crossover? true surround sound you're you're really missing experience and that's called crossover network then yeah they're built into the speaker system when you buy like a 5.1 or a 7.1 um surround sound Mm -hmm. that means basically seven speakers and one woofer or five speakers and and you place them where they tell you to place them if there's a train going by or whatever in the in the movie you hear the train coming sound like there and leave your right ear you know in in music um when quadraphonic was the new thing oh yeah okay and they had had, instead of two channels they had four channels Mm -hmm. in in the music studios they had to um remix everything so that it would be separated into four speakers. So to just to make it simple, the Beatles, for example, each of the four guys would have their own speaker. And, uh, I mean, you could do it anyway. That's just one simple way of, of doing it. And and the, the problem with that is you would never hear it that way in real life. You would never be sitting on the stage between all four guys. Mm-hmm. You, you'd usually be sitting in front of the stage watching all four guys. So they usually the sound behind you would be you know somebody coughing or yeah, something yeah. so it was unrealistic wow you have another phone call right. good morning you're on the air with jim george yeah good morning good morning yes uh yeah the uh the, the quad systems they, they they had it set up as uh um left front right front left rear right rear everybody except dynaco dynaco had left and right and then they had the middle, which was called left plus right. And then they had the rear, which was left minus right. Huh. And did it sound... Did and it that sa- was actually a better system. It sounded better than the four separate sounds? Yes. Yeah, because well, the other sound was not natural. You don't sit in the middle of a band ever. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, if you have an equalizer in your car, you know, some of the new radios have them where you can adjust the front and back speakers separately. Uh, you right, can, have a good day. You thank can, you, Jim. Thank you, Jim. You can get that balance really neat. Like if you're oh. playing some music that you really enjoy. Right, right, right. And you kind of do your left and your right and get that settled, then you do the front and the back and get... I mean, you're, I mean, it, the sound fills the entire car as compared to the sounds just coming from your front speaker. Mm-hmm. Gosh. Do you know, we, when we do recordings, um, t- typically before you would master anything, you would take it to be mastered mm-hmm. by somebody who knew how to master. Nowadays, all you have to do is upload it to the service, and they will master it and send it back. Like within five minutes, you get, you get it yeah. back all mastered. Isn't that amazing? Unbelievable. 
No, technology is really is is fast. I mean, it's just it's like what we did at Ocala Palms. I mean, it took us um, about two hours to change like forty channels around, <clears throat> and uh, now you know they get to enjoy standard def and high def and stuff. You know, they didn't have it prior to that time. It's just like all of a sudden they have all these high definition channels and standard definition channels. Do you have foreign language channels? We do have uh, four Spanish channels. Oh, you do? Okay. Um, but we, we're we not going to add any other ones because when we do the IPTV, mm-hmm. then you'll have the German channel, the Korean channel. Oh, the, really? Yeah, because that's from IP is all over the world. So mm-hmm. basically, you by logging in, basically you're changing channels. We, we went to a, a service plaza last night on the turnpike, the, the farthest one before Palm Beach. Yes. Uh-oh. I yeah. said, to, before we went in, I said to Robert, I'm going to, I'm going to predict we're going to hear eight people speaking Spanish in there. And you, she said, oh, I'm okay. I'm going to bet 14 people. It's our yeah. game, a little game, right? Everybody was speaking Spanish. Yeah. Everybody, huge. <laughs> I think we were the only people speaking oh, English in there. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. I so, went to Miami for a conference, and I and no one spoke English. Even people I asked directions couldn't give me directions. They only oh. spoke Spanish. Oh, man. And we, and we saw this lady get <clears throat> mad at the at the gas yeah, station. Oh. There's some, yeah. some guy, and he spoke English. But I guess he backed up, and she was ready to pull forward, and he got the gas pump first. She came out. Yeah, she oh, was man. yelling. She, oh, Stop she was saying, you know, yeah, piece yeah, of yeah. mojado and K O to S and quesadilla. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah, como se llama? I'm gonna yeah. order you one of those. Yeah. Okay, yeah. out Taco Bell. She yeah, was saying all those things. Bad. I know how to say. Yes, <laughs> I fully understand. No, it's a uh, life is amazing out there. Uh, when a person puts their television program on your system, do they have built-in commercials, or do you supply the commercials? No, they can do their own commercials, or, or uh, I can supply commercials. And that's what I'm saying. You could have the Larry and Robin television show. Mm-hmm. Oh, we should give you that thing. I f- keep forgetting to do that. Yep. Oh, and yeah. We, and we're set up for it now. That's one thing we added also was that new character generator. So on the top left hand is the uh, weather. The top the bottom left hand is the time of day, and then the whole section is filled with uh, static, you know, like mm-hmm. uh, something that's just printed across the screen, doesn't, oh. doesn't move, okay. and then it changes the, the new words. Uh-huh. And then we have a crawl line that goes along the bottom, but uh, we could take that off and actually inject a video, oh and people gosh. could watch the video. So you could do a one-minute video, a five-minute video, a 30-minute video, mm-hmm. and it would repeat itself every 20 minutes or every 30 minutes or whatever. You should oh, okay. uh, promote the uh, well, Kyle's Got Talent. Obama's Got Talent. There you That's go. Right, exactly. Do you have people? Uh, is, it, is it a young? Uh, no. No. O- it's, it's over a, 55. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, they're talented too. They're, oh, they are. They are. We have, there's people out there that there's a computer club at Ocala Palms that you can join. There's uh, knitting and sewing clubs you can join. There's all kind of clubs. All right. So let me do this Google thing again. Ready? I'm going to put my hand I'm up ready. and just ready. say something. Okay. Ready? Go. Yeah. Ocala Palms, the place to live here in Ocala. Okay. Wow. It, per- it was perfect. Ocala oh. Palms, the place to live in Ocala. I can. And so the only thing I got wrong was okay. It said I can. I can. Oh, okay. Wow. Ocala Palms, the place to live here in Ocala. Wow. It got it almost completely. So, so that's using your own built-in um, word recognition. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yes. That is cool. Hmm. <laughs> Very important. Word recognition. I wonder if you, Robin, you try it. Are you recognizing Let me, let me get rid of the music. Okay. Oh, Go ahead. Okay. Ready? This is W-O-C-A, The Source. Oh, it says S S W O C A Thesaurus. <laughs> and it says, Did you mean smoke thesaurus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna have thesaurus, you might as well have a smoke. <laughs> oh, it questions you now too. It's okay. Smart. <laughs> Jim, what is your phone number? 854-9795. Remember, if you need your computer fixed, media in motion will fix it. Give Jim a call and his guys, they'll take care of it. Have a great day. Thank you, Jim. Thank you.
Fox News Radio, I'm Lillian Wu. Two Americans confirmed killed in Tuesday's terror attacks in Brussels, where Secretary of State John Kerry is expressing his condolences. At least six people have been arrested in terror raids here. I went to the sleepy northern suburb of Jet, where one of the arrests was made. The tree-lined quiet area is full of row houses and parks. Soldiers with machine guns and camouflage could be seen patrolling the streets. Two other arrests were also made in Brussels, and three others were arrested outside the federal prosecutor's office. Prosecutors say three other arrest warrants could be issued today. Fox Radio's Jessica Gallagher in Brussels. Meanwhile, Reuters is reporting the brothers who blew themselves up in Tuesday's blast, Khalid and Brahim el Barkawi, were on U.S. government terrorism watch lists. And we're learning that our economy slowed in the fourth quarter, but not as sharply as previously estimated. It's GDP increasing at 1.4 percent instead of the previously reported 1 percent. Fox News, we report, you decide. What's the next big event you want to go to? Is it hockey? Basketball? Baseball's right around the corner. Maybe it's a concert. Whatever it is, you can bet that someone is going to pay less than you for the same seats. How? They have an in. But now, you do too. Thanks to ScoreVig.com. Only at ScoreVig can you name a ticket price that's guaranteed to be below box office. Up to 60% off for the events you want to see. Basketball, baseball, hockey, concerts, and more. Here's how they do it. 40% of all tickets go unsold. ScoreBig works directly with teams and performers to get the best deals on those tickets and pass the savings along to you. Next time you want to buy tickets, go to ScoreBig.com first. Your tickets are guaranteed to be authentic, shipping is free, and you'll never get the surprise fees you see on the other ticketing sites. If you go to ScoreBig.com right now, click on the microphone and enter promo code 400, you'll save an extra $20 off your first ticket purchase. That's ScoreBig.com, promo code 400. ScoreBig.com, promo code 400. Hi, Matt Wilkerson here, your mobile Verizon rep. But not just here, I'll deliver the phone to you in your home. While I'm there, I'll only sell you what you need and I'll personalize it to you. Want to have me get you connected? Then call me at 352-528-0020. I even offer unlimited home phone service for just $20 per month. Just call me, your mobile Verizon rep, at 352-528-0020. That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 840-0750. That's 840-0750. Have you heard of Hyper Directory? When looking for local businesses, go to hyper.directory. No need for triple W, no need for dot com, just hyper.directory. Connecting customers to local companies when it matters most. Hyper Directory is your local business directory partnered with the Ocala Chamber and Economic Partnership to bring you trusted local businesses. Keeping Ocala local. Use hyper.directory. No triple W, not even dot com, just hyper.directory. Connecting customers to businesses when it matters most. At Ameris Bank, we understand that there is no purchase more exciting than the purchase of a new home. We are dedicated to helping you find the mortgage that meets your needs and giving you the personal attention you deserve. Our mortgage options offer a variety of benefits, including up to 100% financing, down payment assistance, and expansive credit qualifications, all with the competitive rates and exceptional service. Call Ameris Bank today or visit AmerisBank.com. To learn more, we look forward to serving you. Ameris Bank is an equal housing lender and member of FDIC, a loan subject to credit approval. Yeah, blame that drip coming down from the corner of the room. But where did I come from? I'll never tell. Own dry roof you can and we'll fix it right the first time using quality materials and we'll deal honestly and fairly with you, period. You can find Bone Dry Roofing on their website, Bone Dry Roofing, LLC.com, and Facebook at Bone Dry Roofing, LLC. Do it right before your roof needs a tarp to keep the elements out. Bone Dry Roofing stands behind their work to help make your home safe and secure. Plus, they have financing available. Remember, if you're not bone dry, then you're all wet. Putting the local back into radio. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. W-O-D-A News. Variety. Information. Now. Keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times. The most trusted name in news, Fox News. Every half hour, only on 96.3 FM, 1370 AM, The Source. W-O-C-A. 
Ocala's information station, 137 WOCA. Ocala! Ocala's got talent happening in May, but if you want to get in on the running, you need to apply.